So this one, if this is your central, pre-central gyrus, this part of your brain is known as your premotor area. Okay? Now, the premotor area is made up of the upper part, the superior part of your premotor area, which is known as your supplementary cortex. And below is your premotor cortex. So the whole of that is pre-motor area, which is broad mass area number six. Ito four, ito yung six. Get it? Supplementary, your premotor area. <coughs> okay? And here will be your prefrontal cortex. Okay? In front of that is your prefrontal. Now, in the middle prefrontal area here, actually, it's near, it's part of your, it's part of your uh, premotor area, so supplementary area, nandito lang siya sa ibaba, continuation sa ilalim, nandoon yung gaze center mo. Okay? Your gaze center, which is Broadman's area number 8. Now, ano ang function nitong gaze area? G-A-Z-E. -E. Gaze. That will be the one responsible for the coordinated movements of your eyes. Kaya sabay-sabay silang gumagalaw na ganon. Get it? That's why if you have a lesion involving the Broadman's area number 8, if you have a lesion, let's say a destructive lesion, sinira mo ito, your eyes will conjugately deviate towards the lesion. Okay? Remember that. That's why if you have a patient with a stroke, paralysis niya, nandito sa left side. Okay? May stroke siya, hindi niya magalaw ito. So, you think of where is the lesion? Is it on the same side or on the opposite side? Opposite, opposite side. So, nandito yung iyong lesion sa right side. Now, nakita mo yung mata niya ngayon, nakapoint pa ganon towards the lesion. So, meaning to say, you have a destructive lesion involving the right frontal area. Okay, po na ganon. Okay? Now, if the patient is have, meron siyang kung dito gumagalaw ito, nagsishake, tapos yung mata niya, nakaganon, nakapoint doon sa kamay. Mga ganon. Okay? Meaning to say, there is an irritation going on in the side. Irritation. Irritation naman siya. Destructive. Yung isa, destructive. So, let's say, nagkaroon ng hemorrhage. There is a, uh, an infarction. You destroy that that eyes will conjugate it, deviate towards the area. Pero kung irritation, kagaya na nagsisis or may epilepsy, makikita mo yung eyes may point towards dun sa away from the lesion. Okay? So, obserbahan niya. Pag may nakita kayong nagkukumbulsyon, tignan niyo yung mata. Usually, yung mata will point towards the shaking hand. Dun siya nakapoint. Okay? Irritation yan. Pero pag sinira mo na yung neuron dyan, gaganon na yung mata. Okay? <clears throat> so that is the importance of your broad mass area number 8, which is your gaze center. Okay? So, again, so you have here your central sulcus, pre-central sulcus, pre-central gyrus, pre-motor area, supplementary, Premotor cortex, Broadman's area number six, number four. Premotor cortex, in the middle here, near the su supplementary, you have there your Broadman's area number eight, or known as your gaze center. Okay? Now let's go posteriorly. Okay? If this is your post central gyro, which is your somesthetic area, area Broadman's, this is also your post central sulcus. Diba? And then, try to follow the sylvian fissure, okay? If this is your sylvian fissure, yung dulo ng sylvian fissure, this is your sylvian fissure, right? Okay? Yung pinakadulo niyan, yung end niyan, that is your supra-marginal, or you call it your supra-marginal gyrus. Okay? This is your supra-marginal gyrus. Now, if you follow your superior, okay, itong sulcus na ito, okay? which is superior temporal gyrus, this one. Okay? Ang dulo niyan will be your angular gyrus. Okay? You just follow. That is your angular. This is superior marginal. This is now your superior temporal 
and this is your inferior temporal gyrus. So dividing your temporal lobe into three parts, the superior temporal, the middle, and the inferior temporal gyrus. Okay? Sylvian fissure, superior temporal, inferior temporal. Superior temporal gyrus, middle, and inferior. 